Hey everyone, in this quick video, I'll show you what's new in version 7 of the Zoom to Selection tool for Autodesk Revit. So, first thing you'll notice, after installing or upgrading to version 7, is that the About button up here in the ribbon looks a little different. Every time you open Autodesk Revit, the app now automatically checks for updates in the background. So if there's a new version, you'll see it right away. If there's an update available, you'll see a green download icon. If you see an amber dot, it means the app couldn't check for updates, usually because there was no internet when Revit started. And if you don't see either of those, then congrats, you're already up to date. But don't worry, you can still manually check for updates too. Just click the About button. Inside the About section, you'll see a bunch of stuff we've added. We've listed the services we offer, like custom plugins for Revit, AutoCAD, Rhino, Grasshopper, Dynamo, all that good stuff. You can now even chat with us directly on WhatsApp. Just click Live Chat if you have feedback, questions, or suggestions. And hey, if you like the tool and want to support what we're doing, there are options to donate, Stripe, Kofi, or buy me a coffee. Totally up to you. You'll also see this application specs section. This is where you can click the sync button to check for updates manually, and it'll show you the last time it checked. If there's an update available, you'll see a green download icon. Just click it to get the latest version. You know, if you see an amber dot, it means the app couldn't check for updates, probably because there was no internet. And if you don't see either of those, then congrats. You're already up to date. Down here, you'll find the latest new features, bug fixes, and latest news. You can even right-click and copy text to your clipboard if you need it. Now let's talk about the Zoom to Selection button itself. It's now context sensitive, meaning it's grayed out unless you actually have something selected. This just makes the workflow cleaner. And check this out. If you select something like a wall, the Zoom to Selection button now also shows up under the Modify tab, so you don't have to switch to the Add-ins tab every time. Just makes things quicker and easier. And don't forget, you can also set a keyboard shortcut for Zoom to Selection if you want even faster access. Totally recommended. We've expanded the types of views we support. Now you can zoom directly to elevation markers from the project browser, not just floor plans and sections like before. If you select a floor plan, ceiling plan, or structural plan from the project browser, here's what happens. If it's a callout, we'll zoom you straight to the callout. If it's not a callout, we'll zoom you to its associated level instead. And by the way, starting with Revit 2025 and 2026, we've added the Zoom to Selection button right into the right-click context menu. So now you can zoom straight to your selection without even touching the ribbon. Plus, when you select a floor plan, section, or elevation, it no longer just zooms to the marker. It now also selects and highlights the actual view element. And that's it for version 7. Hope you find these updates helpful. And feel free to reach out through live chat if you have any questions, ideas, or just want to say hi. Thanks for watching. And as always, happy modeling.